All right, hello and welcome back to Group Hub Simulator. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started uh, right away. And I actually want to go ahead and do a little bit of remodeling in here, I think. Um, and then after that, we'll go ahead and start brewing up. So let's see what we got in the tablet here. Okay, I think I got it pretty well decorated. I changed the floors. I moved some of the license plates around. Uh, added some extra tables over here, um, some more decorations, and the jukebox over there. And I've realized I could add uh, the bar stools to the front. There's a little gap. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on what's next. Let's take a look here. Um, so the mayor needed. Oh yeah, they needed a uh, basically a sweet ale uh, nine liters to be exact uh, so we might as well go ahead and get started I don't know how much I could fill this up I was 5300 perfect okay and we're gonna go ahead and get some malt extract we're gonna have to order some more I'm not too sure what I should get um do you think a dark would be good, or, or, or should I, pro I should probably do the main recipe and then just put chocolate in it? Yeah, I think that's probably the best idea. Anywho, uh, that should be good for now. Yeah, see, I think this is the only thing we can, like, I don't know if we can, like, if we have to freeball these things, or if they get unlocked. Um, but I'll just make the regular American Pale Ale for them with the chocolate added. Let me go get that stuff. All right, we got the malt and the uh, chocolate. Oh my God, uh, excuse me, what is this? I don't think I ordered this. American chocolate malt, what? Is this flavoring? Okay, here's the additions, okay, okay. I was definitely in the wrong area. I think we'll just get some cocoa powder. Oh, that was a malt, yeah, I'm gonna have to put that in my storage. Um, so let's see, what can we get that's sweet? Ooh, strawberries are sweet. Cocoa. Hmm. Don't, uh, don't know. Cocoa powder is not sweet in itself. I'd have to add some sugar to it. So I'm not too sure all what I'm going to need. So I'm just going to get some strawberry, some cocoa, and some sugar. And see if that'll be enough. All right, I got the ingredients. Uh, let's lay these down real quick. So we got sugar, strawberry, and cocoa. Watch, the freaking thing's probably gonna tell me how to make it. Okay, create a keg of beer matching the requirements and send it to the delivery yacht locker. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this. Uh, we're gonna need 1,500 malt. 1300 thousand one two and three yeah ten cascade all right and I think at this point we have to boil it all right just a couple more minutes left and off let this puppy cool down. Okay, there it is. Let's go ahead and add the five yeast. All right. And now we pour it into the ferment bucket. Okay start fermenting yeah so now we just put in our own flavors okay well I don't remember how much uh, we should put in so let's do a little bit of should we do a chocolate or a strawberry brew I feel like a strawberry might taste better I don't know let's find out so I guess we'll just put five in I don't know if that's gonna be good or not and let's put some sugar in We'll just do five as well. And now let's put the lid on it. 
and it has to wait a full day okay uh, we need to make some brew for ourselves as well so I'm gonna need another bucket or two so this is a 25 liter bucket so we can make multiple sizes oh shoot I need to make more for these guys um, I think they wanted nine okay let me do the same thing again Actually, while I'm waiting for that, I can go ahead and start... Oh yeah, I can start making some new batches. Okay, let's get another one of these. Uh, we're also going to need... A fermenting bucket. Oh, that's a 50 gallon right there for only 10 bucks. Let's go ahead and grab one of these. And, ooh, we could even get bigger kegs. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Where are we at? Okay, just started boiling. Okay, we got the new pots. Uh, let's grab this one and stick it on the burner. Actually, let's go ahead and fill it up. So, let's go ahead and make a brew for ourselves. Where are we at? 27 minutes. Uh, 53, so we're going to do 10.6, that looks good, where are we at, 39, uh, I'm going to need a lot more malt, 2, 4, 6, 8, okay, we're going to need 2,600, okay, there it is, we're going to let that cool, I'm going to have to get another, um, thing of malt, I need... 13, so I need 2,600. I'm getting really low on money. Alright, we got the new malt. Uh, this one is... Hold on. Uh, is it cool? I gotta put in the yeast. Doesn't tell me the temperature. And how much yeast is it? Five? There we go. Let's go ahead and stick this up here. Now we can pour this into the fermenting bucket. There we go. Now we have two mixtures, a little bit of strawberry, a little bit of lactose. I feel like I'm going to need a little bit more. Um, that doesn't seem like very much. So let's go ahead and put maybe 15 grams total of sugar. I don't know if that'll be too much, too little, and let's go ahead and put another 10 of strawberry in. Yeah. Now we'll let that thing ferment. We're gonna stick it over here though. And now we can put this back. Uh, we gotta do two batches of this, so let's go ahead and get the malt um, out of the inventory. And if it's 1300, we're gonna need 2600. Oh, well, that's one. 15. Two thousand. Uh, 13, we need 26. So there we go. And then we're going to need 20 hops. Hopefully we have enough in here. Uh, we only have 10, so I need to order some more hops. Alright, got the hops. Let's go ahead and slick, uh, stick it in here. Uh, we need 20. Actually, I should probably just put 10 in there. Just to use this up. So we'll use 10. And 10 more out of this one. Okay, so there's our 20. And now we just need to do the boil thing. Alright, just a couple minutes left here. 60. There we go. Now we'll let that cool down to 21. And 21. Okay. So there's 10. What do we got left? 20 left, okay. Now we're gonna pick it up. Uh, we need to get out the new fermenting bucket. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm 
maybe we just stick it down there. Open the lid. There we go. And now, do we want to flavor it at all? Uh, those other guys had some lemon in it. I don't remember how much lemon I... Oh, I probably put 10. Okay. Okay, so this is actually probably a good choice what I put in here. Um, it's just a little bit less. Um, I think we'll just keep this our regular ale. Yeah, regular flavor. So let's go ahead and hit the lid. Uh, should we make some more? Because that's not very much. And I got a new keg. Yeah, let's, let me make a whole nother double batch real quick. All right, it's been almost an hour. There we go. We're going to turn it off, let it cool down. We'll slap that yeast in there. And we're going to need 10 milligrams or milliliters of yeast. All right, there we go. Uh, so 10 milliliters. There we go. And now we just have to pour it into the vat. Perfect, there we go. So we got a total of 26 uh, liters in here. Um, that's also going to take a full day. Uh, how much were those kegs? I don't think I have enough. Oh god, no, $165. Okay, so... Doesn't look like we're going to be selling much alcohol tonight. So these are empty, empty... Yeah, we got like five beers in there. Uh, well, I guess we might as well go ahead and sell them. Alright, let's go ahead and sell these five beers. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and get it ready. And who do we got today? What's up, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Here you go. Yeah, we still just got the one uh, on the house, uh, or the one beer right now. Uh, hello, ma'am. There you go. Thank you very much. We're going to have some new ones tomorrow. Hello, hello. How you doing today? Thank you. Here you are. Oh, here comes Adam Levine. Adam, what's up, bud? Oh, am I missing it? What's going on? Okay, we're actually out of beer, so we're going to let these guys finish drinking. Uh, last round, guys. Sorry, we're all out. Uh, hey, buddy. Uh, sorry, we just ran out of beer. Um, yeah, so sorry about that. All right, guys. It's closed. Get out. Nope. Sorry. Get out. Oh, we lost a crap ton of money today. Well, that's because I spent so much. So yeah, that explains it. Okay, brew summary. This one is the strawberry ale. Okay, we did get a five star, so that's good. It looks like the flavor, uh, the flavors may have been in line. Let's go ahead and edit this. This is going to be called the the bloody strawberry. Uh, no, hold on, let me see. All right, we're just going to call it strawberry blood. Uh, looks like a little vampire guy, and. I don't know if we need to set a price or not. Let's put it to six. I think it's since it's a mission, it's just going to be the same. Um, now this one should be ours, uh, which should be the um, the bloody L. Uh, so that's interesting. Let's just call it the bloody L, because it's a pale ale. And uh, that'll be what it'll look like. Alright, uh, and I think we could easily sell this for six bucks. Maybe more. Uh, can I get it to six? How about six twenty-five? That might be too much. Can I type it in? Okay, we got it to exactly six bucks. And let's go ahead and head back here now and get them transferred into um, some kegs. So these guys only needed... Uh, nine. If we look at the email, they only need nine li uh, nine liters. So I want to see if I can put exactly nine liters in here. 
You know what I mean? Uh, so we'll connect. We're going to connect. And then let's see if we can just slowly... Oh. Wait. I don't know if it... I can't see. Hold on. No, no, no. So what if I put it here? This thing's going to be full. It says if you lift it, it's supposed to... Hmm, I wonder how... Okay, well, I wasn't able to get 9, but I got uh, 10. Let me try that again. Okay, 13. Maybe a little bit faster. All right, there we go. We got it at 9.5. Awesome. So let's go ahead and give this out to, uh, I think it was the mayor that needed it. There we go. Can we look at it? Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That actually is going to leave us a little bit for ourselves. Uh, so let's go ahead and stick this one down here. It's not very much. Uh, what's that? About f two, four, six, eight beers. Uh, so let's set this one here. Okay. And then this one is going to be our big boy. So I have another hose in here. Uh, we need to grab this, stick it up here. Let's bring the big keg over. There we go. We got 26 liters in here. Now, I don't know how you hook, hook up multiple... Ladies and gentlemen, we have a beer. Okay, so you could just hook up multiple to the same tube. That's pretty freaking cool. Okay. So we're going to put our bloody ale up first at six bucks. And then we're going to put our strawberry blood up here at six bucks as well. Uh, you know, I kind of wonder if I should have like a more watered down beer um, that isn't so expensive. Well, we'll see how the customers react to that. Okay. And when I was in here, I noticed the suggested price uh, for this American Pale is $4.20. Uh, yeah, we'll see, let's see how they respond to this. Now let's go ahead and get her open. Alright, let's see what happens today. Um, oops, I didn't even clean up my bar, dang it. Hello, hello, let me get this for you. Uh, yeah, I got a ale. I didn't read what you said, I do apologize. What can I get for you today, ma'am? Want some decent cleanliness? Well, we can definitely do that. Here's a bloody L for you. Oh, I should have gave you a strawberry one. I do apologize. Hello, sir. How can I help you today? Some good beer, that's all? Okay, well, I got some good beer right here for you. Thank you very much, sir. Hello, ma'am. How can I help you? Anything cheap? Well, I don't really have cheap, but I do got beer. Uh, so, there's that. Let me go ahead and get this mess as cleaned up. Oops. There we go. I think that's everything. Coming. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm here. Uh, yeah, let me get you a uh, ale. There you go, bud. Thank you very much. Ma'am, how can I help you today? You want some cleanliness? Okay, well, I'm going to give you one of our... New special TD beers. It's a strawberry. Let me know what you think. Oh, you like it, huh? Fantastic. And ma'am, I'd like to get you a strawberry beer as well. There you go. Let me know what you think. Alright, and you as well. Alright, look like it's tasting good. Thank you very much. And how can I help you today, ma'am? Decent cleanliness. You got it. Uh, here you go. Hello, ma'am. How can I help you? Would you like some uh, pale ale? There you go. 
Let me just get some of this mess cleaned up for you guys. Yep, thank you, thank you. There we go. How's everybody doing? Hello, ma'am. How you doing today? Sir? What can I get you? Some good beer? Well, I do have that. There you go. Go ahead and grab that from you. Thank you. I'll be right with you, ma'am. Thank you. Yep, I'm coming. Sorry for the wait. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Alright, yep, I'm here. Let me get you a nice beer. I'm sorry. Thank you. And ma'am, let me go ahead and get you the rest of our strawberry. There you go. Thank you very much. Alright, I need to start washing some dishes here. Uh-oh. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Let me get you a pale ale. Or a bloody ale. I do apologize. That's what it is. We are out of the American Pales today. What? Mm-hmm. Hello? Let me... Oh, sorry. Let me get that uh, for you. How can I help you today? What you looking for? Okay, well I got that. Thank you very much. Oh, what, what was that? Hello, ma'am. Would you like some of our strawberry brew? Thank you. Okay, these should all be clean. Will you put back, please? Thank you. Okay. Let's see if we can get the rest of these uh, knocked out. Well, I wonder what kind of employees I can hire. I did see an employee tab. How you doing, sir? Would you like to try the strawberry? Let me know what you think. Okay. Did not like that. Okay. I'm sorry about that, sir. Yep, I apologize. I should give you a regular beer. I should have known my customers. Oh yeah, we got a little bit of a mess going. There we go. Let me go ahead and grab you a beer. Thank you. Ma'am? What would you like today? Alright, well I have some of that. There you go. Yeah. What I thought. Hello, ma'am. I don't have any more of the strawberry, uh, but you'll have to take that one. All right, we only got five minutes left. Let's see if we can get you served before the dinger. Last call. Thank you. Uh, there's no more beer, buddy. You have to leave. Oh, we got arcade games. Oh my god, okay, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, let me finish cleaning up here and we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Alright, how did we do though? Um, not too well on my... my reviews. We'll take a look at that in a second. Okay, the construction team is thrilled with the beer. You can commission the expansion of your premise from your tablet under the upgrade section. The beer hit their taste buds so well that after finishing the job, they all came to your bar. You'll definitely recognize them at first glance. They're true workhorses. Oh my god, are they the guys I sent the freaking strawberry beer to? Okay, we got a new email. Let me finish cleaning this up and I'll be right back.
Alright, I think that is everything in here. Uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's see what this guy wants. Hold on. If you perfectly match the ingredients and aromas, your beer can be so epic that it goes beyond the star scale and receives a fancy. There are three levels of fancy. Bronze, silver, and gold. Mix and match to catch them all. Make a five-star American pale ale, and just before fermentation, try adding coffee beans and ginger. It's a proven and reliable combination. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Experiment with mixing and matching different additives to find the perfect combinations. With mastery of fanciness, you can become the best brewer on earth and maybe even beyond. <laughs> That's all I've got for you. For Master among brewer. That would be my greatest. Whoa, okay, ginger and I forget what the hell he said. Oh, what the hell? Oh, so let's take a look at the emails. We got a couple of them. Uh, hold on. Okay, so we got a fancy beer. Uh, I'd like to see your brewing skills. It might be capable of preparing five liters of some fancy beer. I'm sure you can handle it. Your old man believes in you. Uh, the more matching ingredients you add, the fancier the bill will, the uh, beer will be. Okay. Uh, you've probably noticed already some people don't have behave normally. They have so much strength they can almost unhinge doors. They stop in strange places. Sometimes they just pretend to drink or do something else that deviates from the normal behavior. In reality, they are collecting data. Uh, they are among us, and they don't want our brains at all. We want our beer. Or they want our beer. Oh, you're talking about the alien guy? Uh, let's see. The beer I ordered was not mine. I got a beer I didn't want. Not got the, uh, I got the exact beer I wanted. I wanted to drink a decent beer, but didn't get one here. Uh, received beer, but the cons forgot to fill the glass. Excuse you. Oh, I didn't fill it. Yeah, I've been getting a little bit cheap on that. Uh, okay, let's see the upgrades. Um, expands the bar area and increases clients to uh, another four. Okay, well, let me see how much uh, beer we have back here. So we still got 17. Um, we don't much have much of that strawberry left. Um, so we're going to have to brew up some more. And I don't have a lot of money. So let me go ahead and brew up that quest one real quick. And uh, I'll meet you at the point when I add the ingredients. Okay, I got it all ready. This we're going to be adding the flavors to. I got a home brew for ourselves. Um, I'm going to change it up a little bit this time though. I'm actually want to try a Magnum. I want to see what happens if I do Magnum hops instead of Cascade hops. I might mess this whole thing up, but we'll see. So we'll just put 20 magnums in, and then we'll boil that. Um, now with this one, he said something about ginger and coffee. Um, so I figured let's try that. I haven't put the yeast in yet, so we're gonna we're gonna add the yeast. I know does it already have yeast? No, it doesn't. So there's the yeast. And I was only supposed to put five, so I this is going to be messed up. Damn it! Okay, well, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and add, I think, five ginger and then five coffee. Oh, man, I put too much yeast in there. We got 30 minutes left on that. Um, I guess what I could do is... Add another thing of light malt. What are we at? 44 minutes. Yeah, let me just make up another batch. Fifty-three. Sixty, we're gonna let that cool. Uh let's just do the cascade. Um, which, actually, we need the malt in first. Just 1,300. There we go, 1,300 malt. And then we just need a 10 cascade. And then we just need to boil this, yep. 
this should be cooled. It is. So now we're going to add the yeast, uh, which is going to be, this one will be 10 milligrams. All right, now we're going to dump this into the vat. There we go. And this should have everything in it to 5.9. Um, I don't know how it's going to taste with that other... Oh, I got the wrong burner on, don't I? Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to taste with that other stuff in there. So let's add a little bit of flavor to it. Maybe a little bit of ginger or a little bit of coffee. I think I'll just do the same batches we're making for those other people. And since this is a double batch, we're going to be putting 10 of them each. So coffee and ginger with the magnum. Okay, that should be pretty good. Uh, this is going to have about 20 minutes left. Alright, so I just dumped this pail in. Um, I think I might have messed this up. It doesn't look the same. Like, this one doesn't show. It just says mixture, and then the flavors are added. Where this one... I think I did it wrong. I think I was supposed to put the yeast in the uh, pot first and then dump it in. Um, but we're just going to have to see how this comes out for tomorrow. Uh, let's just set these over to the side for now. Uh, this will be for one of them. And we're just going to have to sell through the rest of this beer. And let's put this back up here. Okay, let's see how we do. All right, here we go. Let's get started. I'm going to line some of these up. Hello, welcome. Anything cheap? Well, I don't really have cheap. At least I don't consider that cheap, but thank you anyway. How you doing, ma'am? Hey buddy, how's it going? <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting uh, we're gonna be getting a uh, little snack bar here soon. Oh hey there, bloody ale. All right up. All right, the day is over. Uh, we gained some pretty good rep. Uh, prestige, I think, probably went up just a tiny bit. Completed all the orders, and we made $107 after we bought all the stuff for our brew. Okay, so it looks like we got a one. <laughs> we got a one on this beer. So this is going to be a very crappy beer. Uh, how much is this? This both of these were very similar. We're just going to call this the uh, right. We're just going to call it the bloody crap because it's probably a super crappy beer. Okay, and our other one's pretty crap as well. Hmm. Okay, so the first one was our Magnum, and this is the one I was trying to make for those other guys. Uh, we'll just call it Shite Ale. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Uh, but the text should be black. All right, 250. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, let's get this clean place cleaned up real quick. So how much money we got? We made a good amount of money, but we also have some really crappy, crappy beer. Uh, so the bloody crap is going to go into a new keg. I think we'll make this one for those guys. How much did they need? Five liters. We have a lot more than five, so let's see if we can get this to happen. Okay, so they're hooked up. I should have to... What, what do I have to do? Okay, I finally got it to about 5.48. Uh, let's stick it in the mailbox. There we go. 
Well, we'll see how pissed off they are about that beer tomorrow. Uh, these guys are going to be super pissed about this beer. Oh my god, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to buy another keg real quick. Alright, I got two more kegs. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the rest of this into here. And we'll set this over here. And they've said I can't handle the keg. And then we will put... Okay, that doesn't work. We'll put this up here. Uh, do I need one more hose? Alright, so let's fill this up here. There we go. We'll stick it down. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Uh, then we just stick them over here. These are the worst ales anybody's ever going to drink in their lives. Uh, should I try to sell them or should we call it? I don't know how long I've been recording. Uh, I'll probably be cutting out a lot, so it might be okay. All right, here we go. Hello, ma'am. Just any beer? Okay, well, we will give you a shite to beer. Oh, right. You liked it. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, how can I help you? Uh, a decent drink anything cheap. Well, we got that. There you go, buddy. What's up, buddy? Some decent beer. I do got decent beer. I think your brother's behind you. Hey, bud, what can I get you? Uh, you want some good beer? Okay. Well, I do have good beer. Oh, you didn't like that? Why? I thought that was good beer. Excuse me. That was good beer. How rude. All right. Hello, buddy. Anything cheap? Well, we got that. Thank you. He loves that cheap beer. Beautiful. It's doing better than I thought. Uh, how can I help you? Some decent cleanliness. You don't care about the beer? Let me give you some of our shite ale. Yeah, enjoy. Uh, hello, sir. Let me get that from you. Thank you. How can I help you? Some decent cleanliness. You don't care about the beer? Okay, good. Let's open that. How can I help you, buddy? Uh, anything cheap. You got it. Thanks, bud. What can I get for you? You like some decent beer? Well, we got that. Okay, I'm glad you like it. This guy, on the other hand, your brother is a little bit more picky. A good beer. Oh, you want flavor. Uh, let's see if you like this stuff. <laughs> okay, I didn't think so. Uh, how can I help you? Anything cheap? Yeah, we got that. Maybe the Scheidel is the better one. We'll have to see next time. Okay, what can I get you? Cleanliness, doesn't matter. Let's give you some bloody crap. There you go. Thank you. Mm. What would you like? You'd like some good beer? Let's see if you like the shite beer. Oh, he likes that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want some bloody crap? You got it. Thank you. What can I get you, bud? Any beer? Alright, let's give you some of this bloody crap. What can I get for you? Anything cheap. You got it. Thank you. What can I get you? Decent cleanliness? Thanks, bud. Alright, 
We're doing pretty good. Uh, so yeah, surprisingly, the shite beer and the bloody beer, it's not the end of the world. They don't actually mind it. Um, as long as they want cheap beer, they're happy with it. Oh, what can I get you? Decent cleanliness? Okay, uh, what do we got more of? Let's give you some of this one. Thank you, ma'am. What can I get you? Uh, number three. There you go. I don't know what you said, I'm sorry. Can I get you number three? Thank you. What can I get you, bud? Uh, any beer? And what's your preference? Cleanliness? Okay. Number one, you got it. What can I get you? Number three? There you go. Bloody L. There you go. What can I get you, bud? Number one. Thanks. Have a good one all right so not too bad on that one uh let's see we actually made a decent profit i don't know how our uh reviews were but but let's take a look at them real quick and see how we were doing uh got beer wanted another beer yeah so i kept messing up what i was doing was like i was reading um a little tag next to their head and going off of that and not reading the text that came up, um, but then I learned that you have to read the text that comes up and they tell you exactly what beer they actually want. Uh, so yeah, I think that was pretty good. Um, lesson learned, the crappy beer actually does sell. Uh, people don't mind it. They actually get pretty happy um, as long as they say they want a cheap beer or something. So yeah. Well, I think we'll call it there. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll continue expanding on the next one. We got $444, uh, but we'll see you later. Adios.